I'm searching since such a long time. There are a lot of um, spiritual concepts still where this confusion comes in. I think I asked it last time, but I forget the answer somehow um, with the time of the Kali Yoga that it will be very dark and then and then you said, no, it's not the time of the Kali Yoga at the moment. I think the answer is just important for me to help to find more trust that there will be better times coming ahead somehow. Francisca, Kali Yuga, Satya Yuga, these are descriptions of states of being. You can't measure time in yugas because you don't know where to start. These are, these are descriptions of how humans live. You may be living in your Kali Yuga now, but your neighbor may not. So the idea that there is a, a finite period of time when this happens and then it's replaced by that, by a better time and then another era appears. This is not the meaning of the yugas. This is a very simplistic description of, of what yugas actually mean. Because there is no beginning and there is no end. The universe has always been and will always be. Big bang this way or that way. Even if there was a bang, it came from somewhere. So there was something before that, so there's no beginning. There's no beginning and there's no end. So the yugas are simply concepts. And as you yourself just said, you're living in concepts. You need to let go of the concepts and you need to just feel yourself. Feel the soul, feel the source. The concepts are things created by human beings to put meaning into what they couldn't understand to try to control the, the, the chaos, which isn't a chaos. There's a matrix of perfection unfolding in every second. And when you tune in, you can see that unfolding in front of you. You know, you can see it unfolding. So yes, you're right, your head is full of too many concepts. As a spiritual seeker, that is part of the, the journey, to go through the concepts and to leave them behind. So it's not as if you've wasted any time, you know. You have not wasted time. But it's time to leave that behind, because unless you experience it, it is only an idea in someone else's book. And you can only experience it if you take up the sadhana and actually feel the soul and the source. There are very few people in this world who would actually refuse or refute the idea of, a, of something within themselves that is central to them. Everyone feels that there is truth in that, that yes, there is something that is the truth of my being. That's all I'm saying. And it is not as difficult as one can imagine. It's just one has to leave the spiritual concepts behind. One has to leave all of that stuff behind. One can say, okay, this is also a sadhana, so, you know, it's also a concept. If you think it's a concept, you can only argue with me if you have already tried to do this simple sadhana and it hasn't functioned. There's a, there's a woman who asked a question before who has never even met me. Someone else told her about this sadhana. Imagine. And something has started to happen with her. So, I feel that you're on a good way and that it's time to also start to center yourself, go within. Stop imposing all your ideas on your life around you. You know, you also 
I mean, growing up in in Europe, in Germany. I mean, you're like one huge big concept on two toothpicks walking around. That's what finally it's all about. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Thinking is not a way to knowing. It's exactly the opposite. It just leads to misery. It's only to be used as a tool for planning things or doing simple tasks which need to be organized. But it's not a means of knowledge. And it's certainly not a means of self-knowledge. It's a good idea now to start to really tune in, do the pendulum kriya and start to tune in, start to feel the soul, the source. And even if you don't feel anything, at least you're taking a moment to identify where is your action coming from? Is it coming from the loud and clamoring and demanding and insisting and pushing and hoping and wanting and willing and intentioning voice of the ego or is it that other thing which is just much more quiet and quietly impulsing? So just tune in a bit more. Things will settle down. <laughs>